Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a question having to do with probability. Uh, this is, I'm taking this one from uh, CPM's course two, and this is section 1.2.3. So number 181. So let me read it and we'll go through and see what we can do here. Your team is in charge of games at the CPM amusement park. One of the games involves a robotic arm that randomly grabs a stuffed animal out of a large bin. It says you need to set up the game so that the probability of a customer's customer grabbing a teddy bear is exactly one half. So if we remember, just as a review, probability okay, is always set up. Is If you look at it as a fraction right here, we have probability being a fraction. So what's the number on top? The number on top is always the, the desired outcome right so the desired outcome so in this case you want to have one teddy bear out of two of the stuffed animals right so of all the possible animals so its desired outcome is the one teddy bear out of what the bottom is the total possible outcomes okay so that's that's probability so it's the desired outcome over the total possible outcome so in this case if we want the probability to be one over two we want one teddy bear out of all the possible um, stuffed animals right so how do we set it up we have to make sure that that at least that half right we would say to set up half of the stuffed animals are teddy bears. Half of them have to be teddy bears, right? Because say there were six teddy bears, then we'd want to make sure there's 12 total animals. So six teddy bears and six others would be what we'd have. So, or you could say that an equal amount of teddy bears with an equal amount of other stuffed animals. You can always say that too. So they have to be equal, but in, in, concept here half of the animals have to be teddy bears so let's move on to b what if you return to check on the bin and found that there were four teddy bears left and 12 other animals so right now if, if we think about that situation that would be the probability of getting a teddy bear is four out of 16 right because there's four teddy bears out of the 12 and, and, and 12 other animals. So there's a total of 16. Well, four over 16 is equal to one fourth. So right now the probability is not one half. We need it to be one half. So what do we need to do? What would you add or remove from the bin to return the probability to a teddy bear of one half? Well, again, we need to make sure that half of the animals are teddy bears. So if I were to add, say just Four, somebody, somebody may say, well, only add four animals, four teddy bears. That would make that eight, but then that changes that to 20. So we need to make sure it's still half. So what we have to do is, another way of looking at it is, an equal amount of teddy bears to other animals. So what we could do is we would say we're going to add eight teddy bears. Because then there would be 12 teddy bears and 12 other animals, so it would be 12 over 24 would be the probability in that case. And 12 over 24 is one half. So one of the options is add eight teddy bears. Another option would be to remove uh, eight other animals. If we were going to have less animals in there, we can remove eight other animals, right? Because then we would have four teddy bears and four other animals if I take and remove eight from that. And so it would become the probability would be four over eight in this case, which is still one half. So either one of those answers gets us there. All right, there you go.